we'll take a look at this real quick and then I'm going to tell you the story on what happened. But this is some of my stuff here. And uh, right here, I used the mail meter a little while ago. I've been using the, the, the K2 meter uh, coming in. As a matter of fact, I've used both of these coming in. And a little while ago, I used uh, this electromagnetic radiation detector. Now, again, everything that I, you know, used so far has been normal. Now, we're going to walk over here and I'll introduce you to this little buddy. All right. This is called a REM pod. And your REM pod is a device that a lot of ghost hunters use to let them know when there is a spirit or some type of paranormal activity going on around them. Now, as you can tell, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there completely dormant. But if you break the beam, you come into something, you know, human or otherwise, if something comes into contact, it is gonna pick it up and it will set it off. Now, this has been out here, you know, a good 20 25 minutes and on its own it has it has not gone off so now then let's go back to the story of what brought me back out here and I'm just gonna let the rim pod go I think I'm kind of through with the other stuff but anyway a few weeks ago I was out here and again this has been a place that I had just been dying to get to dying to come check out and I finally managed to make it out here. Um, I was out here a long time, probably about two hours. Now, I did not go down the, uh, the road there because it was water coming across it. And I didn't want to take a chance and, you know, slip, fall, have something happen. And, uh, you know, wind up in trouble. You know, it's like the, the weather folks say, turn around, don't drown. So, I just didn't want to chance it. So, anyway, right before I left, I did what I'm doing now. I walked out here to the, the main road, and I had been doing this all morning long. I'd been taking pictures, taking video. I didn't have that gear back there with me. But I would just walk out here and check the road, you know, see if anybody was coming, see if anything was on the road. And when I got out here, the first thing I did was I looked this way. Oh, there's a deer down there. Let's see if we can. Uh, probably too blurry. All right, sorry about that. Just decided to try it anyway. But I looked this way first, which would be to my right. Well, as I pan the camera around, several hundred yards down, I saw what at first I thought to be a big black pickup truck. Now, like this morning, I was out here that day all day by myself. And there were no signs of human activity, whether they were campers, uh, hunters checking on their property, nothing. My tire tracks, and I verified this going out. And I was also watching and noticing as I was coming in, my tire tracks were the only tracks coming in. My tire tracks were the only tracks going out. So after I saw this object down there, and, and I got it on video, believe it or not, in my, my original video, I have it. You can see it's a black speck. You can't make out what it is, but you can tell, whereas right now, there's absolutely nothing down that road. I mean, you know, I'll zoom in a little bit. There was absolutely nothing down there. There had been nothing down there all morning long. After about two hours of being out here, there was nothing. So as I panned back around, I saw this black box looking shape in the middle of the road, just sitting there. Um, now, I was by myself. 
the first thing that went through my head was that is a vehicle that's like a big tall pickup truck and it's probably heading this way and I don't want to take a chance and bump into someone human that's up to no good. So I figured, okay, I've been out here long enough. It's time to go. So I didn't, I didn't, you know, tarry on it. I went ahead and, and wheeled back around and headed towards my SUV. And I throwed my stuff in within just a couple of minutes. I had my gear back, you know, in the vehicle. And I was back out here where we are now. I looked to my left thinking that this vehicle is going to, you know, have, have eased up on me and gotten closer. I look to my right, or my left rather, there is nothing there. I mean, this thing is gone. It is totally gone. Um, so, I start thinking about this, and I'm like, what in the heck did I just see? And, and you know, there's nothing to tell me that it was not a pickup truck. There's nothing to indicate that it wasn't a vehicle. But I never heard an engine. I never heard tires crunching gravel. Uh, I mean, it was pitch quiet out here. I, I, I feel like I should have heard something. I feel like... Um, I feel like if it had been a vehicle, I, I would have heard something or saw something. But when I was standing out here, I never heard nothing. And, you know, come to think of it, it didn't really seem to be moving. It didn't seem to be coming my way, but I immediately jumped to that conclusion that it was a vehicle and that I didn't want to be out here. Now, if it was a game warden or something like that, I mean, sure, I, I wouldn't have been nervous about that at all because, again, I'm, I'm doing everything that is legally required for you to visit one of these places. And if anything, I would have felt probably safer. But once I got in my vehicle and I got out here and I looked back down that way and there was nothing there, it, 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 it kind of freaked me out. So I decided, okay, let me go ahead and ease down the road and see if I can catch up to whoever this was or whatever it was. And the more I drove, the further I got down there, I started feeling like it wasn't whoever, it was whatever. Now, I can't tell you guys really what it was. I can't tell you what it wasn't. I just know that it was there. It was large. It was black. It appeared to be box shaped. You know, it appeared to be tall. It appeared to be mechanical, technological. It, it appeared to be some type of object it, it didn't appear to be anything living. It didn't, you know, it didn't appear to be something that was alive. It didn't, it didn't, it was too big to be a hog. It was too tall. It wasn't a deer. Uh, it was huge. Whatever it was, it was big and it was huge. And, and I just don't know what it was. So I grabbed my camera back up, this camera, and I started filming my drive out. And when it went dead, I grabbed my action camera and I finished filming all the way out of the WMA. I found no other tire tracks. I found, there, there are a few turnoffs down here now. I can't, I can't tell you a lie, there are some turnoffs. But I stopped and inspected each turnoff, looking for tire tracks, looking for some sign that maybe somebody was out here uh, checking their property. Maybe there was somebody out here looking at their cabin. There was absolutely no other tire tracks. There was no other trace that another vehicle was out here. So what did I see? I have no idea. But I, I will tell you this much. The hair on the back of my neck stood up. I got very uncomfortable, and all morning long, I had been super comfortable. Um, I never felt any fear. I, I never felt uncomfortable. I, I mean, I heard 
a few odd noises at times, but it was very rare. I, like this morning, I, I've heard what could be, what could possibly be a wood knock. I don't know for sure that it was a wood knock. Could have been tree litter. I just don't know. But it was very strange nonetheless and I, I was very uncomfortable after seeing whatever this was. So I just figured it's time to go. So I loaded up and uh, and I got out of here. But that has been on my mind this whole time. You know, what was it that I saw? And I just, I don't know. And I guess I decided to come back just to see if maybe whatever it was wouldn't repeat itself. And thus far it hasn't. So, I guess I'll just uh, maybe count myself lucky. I don't know. But I don't know how much longer I can be here. The uh, We've got some weather supposedly moving in, so I don't want to I don't want to tempt Providence here and I mean, I don't mind if it rains or something, but um, anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and sign off and I'll cut the camera back on if anything else happens. I'll probably stay a few more minutes just to, just to see if anything does change or whatever. But anyway, that's my story. A large black object in the middle of the road that had not been here all morning that I'm aware of. And whatever it was, it, it, after walking out there multiple times, probably over a half a dozen times and looking both ways, there this thing was. So, that's, that's my story and it was strange and it was odd and I don't know what the heck it was, but it, uh, it sure freaked me out. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off, and I'll probably put this up. And Anyway, I, brought, I will say this before I cut off. I brought that electronic gear to see if maybe, just maybe, on some offhand chance, that there may have been some type of electro uh, frequencies or something that might give me a clue as to what that thing was. Um, was it something that that's used, that was being used or towed or pulled by a vehicle to take measurements? Was it just a pickup truck that decided not to come all the way down? Was it something paranormal? Could it have been something that was not from here that was interested in this area? Maybe interested in me and didn't come any closer? I mean, when you lis listen to and look at the stories about uh, Skinwalker Ranch and, and in the Uinta Basin and, and all that, the, the, the Sherman family saw these box-like objects that were out in their pastures and out in their fields. And they seemed to be just cruising around like they were searching and looking for stuff. So, could that have been something similar to what they saw? I don't know. And again, part of me is kind of glad that whatever it was, it didn't come any closer to me and I didn't get any closer to it. 
it could have been a good thing but whatever it was it was real i've got video of it it doesn't show a bunch but it happened and it really happened and like i say it kind of freaked me out so i don't know what this this big huge black object was you know was it a bigfoot i don't think so it, it didn't it didn't have a humanoid shape it didn't have anything that reminded me of a human so i don't know it looked it looked more mechanical So I'll leave it at that and I'll let you guys hear my story and, you know, if you've heard of anything like this, you know, seeing anything big and boxy and black or, or any other cut, uh, color uh, while you've been out in the woods hunting or in a WMA or in your pasture or anything like that, please let me know. Because again, it just didn't seem right. It didn't feel right, whatever it was. And uh, like I said, it unnerved me. So anyway, this is Marcus. I'm signing out. If anything else happens, I'll cut the camera back on and document it from there. All right, guys. Catch you later. that uh, I don't know if any of you guys saw or remembered from uh, some of me and MK's posts and all from way back. But in the area where the, where the red man sighting was, I think I might have some company here. <laughs>